Hello. Thank you for joining us for this musical program called Coming Home, the life and legacy of John Lewis. During this video, you'll hear original songs and poems from musicians and spoken word artists. Each have been inspired by Congressman John Lewis, the history of the civil rights movement, and what these two things mean in today's context. As you listen, we hope that you consider the gifts that you have and how you can make an impact in your own community. Without further ado, please sit back and enjoy the program. Song one, Dear Freedom. Inspired by the memoir, Walking with the Wind, comic book series, March, and other civil rights artifacts, I wrote this song in memory of the ordinary people who sacrificed their lives throughout the civil rights movement. Without the continuous sacrifices, deliberate actions, and selflessness of ordinary people in events like Bloody Sunday, the March on Washington, Freedom Ride Summer, and sit-ins, the United States would not be where it is today. Of history to the man before me oh it is no mystery what you've done in the past we've come to see at last so we salute you for what you've done for us dear freedom freedom oh justice Peace within us In God we trust yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Come on and walk with me, Lord Come on and walk with me, Lord Come on and walk with me, Lord. Yeah. Come on and walk with me, Lord. Come on and walk with me, Lord. Come on and walk with me, Lord. For the beloved community, you gave up your opportunity. Stepped down on one knee and looked out to thee. On yourself, you love one another. Took the shot for your brother. I'm standing where I am today because the price your body made. So I pray that today, as we remember the past, we hold on to your name and say freedom at last. We saw your persistence and all your resilience, how you shaped our future ambitions. So let us not forget who we left behind, our ancestors and why they cried. Would you say if you saw this stream in the scene today? Would you lay down a rest or would you stand up and fight? What shall be the end of this holy night? As we sing freedom, oh freedom, justice, peace, kindness to the least. Humanity, children of the sea, and kindness in me. Oh, Jesus, let me be free. Freedom, freedom.
Our first guest poet is Esther Ra. Esther is a Pushcart Prize-winning South Korean poet whose work has been published in Boulevard, Rattle, The Rumpus, and The Korean Times. She's an advocate for North Korean refugees and the founding editor of The Underwater Railroad, an international literary reunification project. She's received awards including the 49th Parallel Award for Poetry and the Woman Writing War Poetry Award. Hello everyone, my name is Esther Ra, and I'm so honored to be a part of this special celebration today. I'll be sharing two poems with you. Um, the first is a poem I wrote while reflecting on what's been a terrible year for many of us, what with the pandemic and everything else that's been going on around the world. I wanted to reflect on the sense of almost stubborn, beautiful hope that John Lewis and many other civil rights leaders inspired in many generations, despite the dark times they lived through. The title of this poem is From Stone to a Stub of Crushed Jewels. That year, bombs the size of sunquakes in cities slid across a trestle of drenched teeth. Death was an easy coin to barter and trade, which we passed back and forth with each breath. People plunged their spades through ash-drowning soil to make space for a tide of cold bodies. Our world shrank to a cup too small for our grief, and the wind of loss howled through our flesh. Still, every day, we were baptized with rain and we drew back a curtain of stitched sunlight. Every day, we reached out with warm open hands and the glass of our wrists pulsed with music. It's like this. We cannot close the door to devastation. Our terrible and most punctual guest Still, we will save a seat at the table and eat prayers until a joy arrives. The second poem is based more specifically on the life of John Lewis, especially his march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. It features scenes from the documentary Good Trouble. I hope you enjoyed this poem and you can find more of my poems on Esther's archive on YouTube as well as on my website. The title of this poem is All Your Life You Asked Us to Wake Up. There is no music like the sound of feet marching forward in hope. First soft like a cloud the size of a hand. Then the rich thunder of a dream of rain deferred. What does it take to hammer open a pale spring sky? Watch the water flow down to a nation run dry of its conscience. It takes men willing to swim through a river of tear gas and time. Women bent into blooms of blue bruises. The people clapped hands over their ears and you still preach the glory of sunrise to every flightless bird in your path. They clapped hands over your mouth and the stones cried out in protest and praise. They swung nightsticks and billy clubs, cracked skulls and beat flesh, and you shaped every weapon to a bright fistful of sun. If freedom is a shore of some day on the other side of this trial called life, we are still walking over troubled waters on the rocks that were hurled at your name. Too many have suffered and struggled, set stone upon stone with torn hands, for anyone to turn back and run now. And although I have not your wisdom or years, 
your own past or your pain, your beauty and fears. I pledge the music of my feet to stand and march with you here. As your courage lit flames across the huddling world, may this world be your neighbor, your beloved community. When one of your people are wounded, may we all lose our breath from the blow. When injustice strikes you upon the face, may you not have to look up alone. All your life you asked us, all of us, to wake up and go on, and your courage split open the sky. May we listen, O world, and get in good trouble. May we lift up our mouths and taste rain. Song two, your memory lives on. I wrote this song after taking a songwriting class that had the prompt of time. Time not as linear, but as circular. A moment in 1967 could touch a moment in 2020. And that for me was very evident in the summer of 2020. After the passing of John Lewis, I felt like I had lost something very important, but something was still very present that I could hold on to and learn from. I didn't get to meet John Lewis physically, but I felt like I got to know him through his memoir, his comic book series March, and through his actions. With this song, I hope that you remember that even though our heroes, our role models, and mentors pass away, their work and accomplishments shouldn't stop with them. As witnesses to their history and legacy, our mission should be to continue learning from what they've left behind and make things better for future generations. A strange thing Memories, yeah, they're changing Thoughts, photos, rearranging Puzzle pieces, but they're fading Into the night Oh, what a sight Oh, take flight Into the night Time's such a strange thing Memories, yeah, they're changing Thoughts, photos, rearranging Puzzle pieces, but they're fading Into the night sight oh take flight into the night memories of you memories of me oh i can't explain why i captured this certain moment of you in my brain it's like an old refrain and it's lingering here I keep taking notes, I can't really fathom How long it took for me to draw the line in Imagine the world I occupy And another right to my soul That's my island, don't touch me Cause you don't know where I'm going 
Memories keep going, pages ever turning, I'm learning and sowing in the earth I'm cultivating. It's my garden for my children and my children's children. We call it legacy, creativity, hard work. Yes, that's my history. Oh. Like an old demo song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time's such a strange thing. Memories, yeah, they're changing. Thoughts, photos, rearranging. Puzzle pieces, but they're fading into the night. Oh, what a sight. Oh, take flight into the night. Time's such a strange thing. Memories, yeah, they're changing. Thoughts, photos, rearranging. Puzzle pieces, but they're fading into the night. Oh, what a sigh. Oh, take flight into the night. Oh, your memory lives on. Your memory lives on. Oh, 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 like an old demo song. Our next guest poet is Michelle Mukasa. Michelle is a spoken word poet who advocates for social change, restorative justice, and racial healing through the art of storytelling. She is currently an undergraduate studying industrial organizational psychology and a soldier in the United States Army. I hope you enjoy her original spoken word piece. Walking with the wind. My hero may be gone somewhere walking with the wind, but something still resides within. His legacy lives on like a freedom song, like a march for freedom. His life as a reflective light. He would pass down the torch, so we'd storm the streets. We'd paint the pavement in solidarity. We'd paint our streets. We'd let the embers of our rage kindle in fury with a light so bright that the flame lit every city. And on that day, they would remember my brothers and sisters by name because our black lives matter, because we believe in a dream that one day your children and my children will walk in the hopes that we will truly be free. Like the boy from Troy spoke with wise words of dignity for those who have died, who have lost their lives so others might be free, you deserve to be honored by our country. For the raw courage and patriotism, we honor you, John Lewis, and his memory lives on. You know, John Lewis stood with unbreakable perseverance, like a freedom rider sitting on the bus down south, practicing the right to be sitting in lunch counters, being beaten down, brutalized, thrown in jail over Trump charges, he was a leader in Selma for voting rights, the youngest speaker on the March on Washington fighting for jobs and freedom rights, a member of Congress challenging the written decree with restorative justice for past, present, and future. He was a saint indeed. May he rest in power. In my culture, death is not the end because we pass down the torch Rather, a beginning as we start running this race together of nonviolent resistance and civil disobedience as a means to stir up good trouble. So let this be your beginning. Let you pick up where he left off. See, the March on Washington in 1963, John Lewis spoke of liberties, appreciating some of the bills and policies passed, but shining a light on nothing done for the young children and old women forced to face police dogs and fire hoses in the South as they engaged in peaceful demonstrations. And 59 years later, 
From John Lewis speaking on the March on Washington in 1963, 59 years later, we are still demanding some of the similar liberties. We are still demanding the protection of young children, the wall of moms with arms interlinked together to face police tear gas and rubber bullets across the nation in peaceful protest. See, death could not be an end. It is a beginning. Because the same ones who believed the civil rights movement was years ago woke up to a national outcry of generational trauma, a revolution, for black liberation was never a new concept. Just one delayed and heavily denied, our neighbors constantly turning a blind eye like a nation continuing to press the snooze. But justice delayed is justice denied, so there is a call for decency, dignity, and a sense of brotherhood, a sisterhood. So wake up, wake up, America. We cannot stop. We will not and cannot be patient because 59 years later, we are still demanding liberty. And somewhere I heard it cannot be done. But I know of a story of a 21-year-old young boy from Troy riding on the bus down south, fighting for freedom, risking his life so that I didn't have to grow up seeing those signs of white only and black only and segregated lines. He said that you know the only place that our children and your children would see those signs would be in a book, a museum, or on a video, so I will not wait. Because John Lewis changed the laws hearts and minds of people, he changed the world. So we will not stop until the only place that our children and their children will see a black man gasping for air like George Floyd, a black woman killed in her own home like Breonna Taylor, a black boy killed for wearing a hoodie and Skittles like Trayvon Martin, a black girl murdered in her sleep like Ayanna Jones, a black man murdered for jogging in his neighborhood like Ahmaud Aubrey, a black girl murdered in police custody like Sandra Bland. We will not stop until the only place that our children and their children will see police brutality like this in America is in the books of history and the museums of the past. We will be inspired to get in the way, to get in good trouble. So we march in the spirit of truth, with the spirit of love and dignity. Because we know, as those who've came before us, that this is America. So even when the storms came in, we would bind together our hands, intertwined, held tightly together, woven together to reflect a beloved community. For the steady hope that one day our children could all stand alongside one another, holding hands, walking with the wind. So as they once sang, we also continue to sing. We shall overcome. Our last song is titled, Coming Home. Its lyrics share a small timeline of events that happened within Congressman John Lewis's life. I hope you're able to clap and sing along as you hear some of his story.
So you grabbed a pen and you took to the page Or you wrote a letter and you sent it on its way
this song only scratches the surface on the amazing life that John Lewis led. Please take time to read one of his many books and learn more about the civil rights activists who shaped U.S. history. If you liked what you saw in this program, please wait to the end of the video to follow some of our collaborators. Thank you again for joining us and hope to see you again soon.